My name is Ron Laberet, and this is my hometown of Granite City. Granite City, established in 1896, is a city of industry just outside of St. Louis, on the Illinois side of the Mississippi River. Recent focus has been directed to the historical downtown. Once a thriving center for shopping and entertainment, this area of Granite City over the years has become the most neglected. Its architecture is beautiful and full of history. Buildings like the YMCA and the Guardian Bank stand still and empty. A shadow of their former self, they wait for new life. As a photographer, I try to still look at these old buildings, dilapidated and unused as they are, in a beautiful light, in something poetic. Change is coming, and with the new, all these old buildings may be gone. I felt it was a perfect opportunity to take a second look, and to photograph, and to have others help. To view Granite City in this light, looking at the old and hoping for change, is nothing new to photography. Since its invention, photography has been used as a tool for social change. Photographers like Jacob Riss and Lewis Hine use photographs to change child labor laws by showing images of young shoeless children at work in dangerous factories, or tenement housing reform by showing the horrid, cramped conditions of slum life. These efforts made use of photography to change our world for the better. The spirit of creating positive change which benefits the community is at the heart of our efforts here in Granite. This project was very important to me. As an arts educator, I found this an excellent opportunity to demonstrate the force of photography and to challenge my students to be agents of social change. I worked with students attending the Coordinated Youth Junior High and High School, focusing their photographic efforts for 10 weeks on Granite City's historic but neglected downtown, our weekly trips to photograph the streets, buildings, and people in Granite City joined the ongoing efforts by local government and business leaders to jumpstart the downtown revitalization. The photography project is part of the Public Policy Research Center at the University of Missouri, St. Louis. The students were also part of the Alternative Education Program. It was started in 1973 to serve students who have demonstrated a lack of success in traditional school programs. Since these students do not fit well within the structure of a typical classroom, being outside on the streets, focused on the very specific action of photographing the downtown, gives opportunity for hands-on learning with the city, the streets, acting as a non-traditional classroom. I hope to show the students that beauty is all around us. We can find beauty in the age, and patina of our buildings, showing the accidental effects of time. Of course, the architecture itself is also very specific to a style and a time, and we speak about the history behind those designs. I also feel that when something is looked at seriously examined for its intrinsic beauty, that the viewer has a renewed relationship with the subject and establishes a value for that which was once ignored and abandoned. Being that the old downtown was filled with condemned and burned out buildings, students viewed images of photographers that found beauty in the same type of seemingly ugly subject matter. Artists like Robert Frank, Gordon Parks, and Aaron Siskin found beauty in everyday urban life focusing on the age of buildings, interesting junk, 
and all things common to city living. For 10 weeks, we focused our digital cameras on the downtown and surrounding areas. Students learn techniques in composition and natural lighting. We learned how to use the tripod for a steady shot. As we walked, I would share my history and knowledge of the buildings with the students. Not all days were spent outside. Some were in the classroom, working on the computer, learning to edit our photographs. The computer made it easy for us to change the lighting, size, and color of our photographs. We discussed how these skills could lead to future occupations. We would also use our classroom time to look at historical photographs of Granite City and discuss what kind of photographs we wanted to take. Our short bus trips around the city created a new archive of images to add to those historic Granite City photographs that were shown in our class. We would compare our experiences to those images captured in the past and would reflect on what our pictures will tell people about ourselves. In the end, students learned how to take and digitally edit interesting photographs. Topics of class discussion range from photographic professions to the powerful history of photography. We all come away with a new sense of beauty and appreciation for our downtown, and a hope that by taking another look, finding value in its beauty, we can change it for the better.